Okay, so we're going to do example problem number four right here. How much upward force is needed to support a 20 kilogram object at rest? To give it an upward acceleration of two meters per second, and then finally to give it a downward acceleration of two meters per second squared. So let's just start with the free body diagram of the object. Here's my object right here. Mass of 20 kilograms. And the question is, how much upward force would we need to support it? So in this one, I'm gonna let you guys get away with using gravity as 10 meters per second squared. So uh, just simply mass times 10 meters per second squared, you're gonna get that that's a force of weight downwards of mass times gravity, which is going to be 200 newtons. And again, 20 kilograms times 10 meters per second squared is going to be 200 kilogram meters per second squared, again, which is newtons. And if that thing's um, at rest, that tells us there's no acceleration and no velocity. So this then would have to be 200 newtons. So then on to part B. What about if we want to give it an upward acceleration of two meters per second squared? So now my acceleration is two meters per second squared. I know the force, I'm sorry, I know the mass of that object is 20 kilograms. So what's the net force need to be to do that? Well, Net force is equal to mass times acceleration, 20 kilograms times two meters per second squared is 40 newtons. And so going back to my diagram here, if the force of weight is a constant 200 newtons, remember my net force has to be 40, but I gotta at least provide enough to balance it so it's going to be an upward force of 200 plus the 40 for 240 newtons. And then finally, for part C, we want to know what does it have to be to give it a downward acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. So this is never going to change. The force of weight is always going to be 200 newtons. And if I need a net force again of 40 newtons, because it's still 2 meters per second squared, it's just the opposite direction. I can't change the weight of the object. The only thing I can do is provide just a little less force. So 200 minus 40 gives me 160 newtons. And so there you go. There's your three answers to that problem.